Zoe Thompson has already shown that she's a great wrestler. She made the U.S. Women's National Wrestling Team last year and is going to Sweden for matches next week. I want to be on a poster. I want to be in a magazine. <laughs> that was my goal. Right over on the building. I'm going to need you to look oh up. Yeah. And one of those goals came true Friday morning. Matt and community in Wexford County surprised Zoe Thompson with a banner showing support for her dream, which is to be on the U.S. Olympic wrestling team. She doesn't get overly emotional, but she was sort of a blubbery mess, and that was what we were going for. Uh, so that was fantastic. The banner is hung on the side of Zoe's number one fan's hardware store. It's kind of overwhelming. It's, it's, it was great. I don't, I don't cry externally. I do on the inside, you know. So it was... It was kind of an emotional thing to see in the sign up. Zoe says she wasn't very good at wrestling when she started in fifth grade, but now she's wrestling on her high school's varsity team as well as the U.S. national team. Like I said, I was not good at all. And I had a lot of people behind me that are like, no, you could actually go somewhere. And I was like, yeah, good thing you're just saying that because you're my dad or, you know, my coach. But yeah, no, never thought it'd go this far. <laughs> she is definitely leading the way, and I, and I think even more so for our female athletes because you know she is in a male-dominant sport, and she's really going um, above and beyond as, as a female wrestler um, at that aspect. Both Zoe's grandpa and principal say the unique thing about Zoe is that when she finishes a match, she walks off with a smile whether she won or lost. Reporting in the studio, Allison Scott, 7 and 4 News.